Our challenge this week came from a viewer who asked us if we could build a robot that could launch a ball into a goal. We tested a few wild designs. Some were fast, some were flashy, but only one actually worked. It turns out launching a ping pong ball isn't as easy as it sounds using a spike prime kit. We needed a powerful base that could move around and also be sturdy. We needed a precision aim, so a barrel that could hold our ping pong ball. And we also needed a way to get some energy, a force to push the ball out of the barrel. I'm Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab, and today we're gonna to use the engineering design process to figure out how to make a fantastic robot that can accomplish the goal. First thing we need to do is identify our challenge. And our challenge this week came from a viewer. We need to make a robot that can launch balls into a goal. We need to know what size ball to launch, so we're gonna be using ping pong balls. That's our challenge. Now that we've identified our challenge, we need to start designing some features of what we want. We want a robot that can throw a ball. We want a robot that can launch a ball consistently, and we also want one that can move around. Let's take a look at what other people have created to solve this problem. Here's a robotics kit that uses one, two, three, four motors to pick up and throw a ball. This one kind of looks like a hand to launch things. We did this a few years ago with first Lego League when we needed to launch energy barrels into a toy factory. This one can throw short distances or long distances. I want something a little more consistent. And here's an idea of a turret. Now this is made with some other Lego kits and that's really good for launching small beams. This is how other people have created solutions. We're gonna iterate on it by building a ping pong ball sized barrel using these black beams all held together with black pins. On the sides, we're gonna use these black pieces that are nice and sturdy and we're gonna round out the top using our round curved pieces that are nice and sturdy as well. Into each end, we're gonna attach those blue three long pieces, and we wanna round out the bottom by using this little black square. And into the sides, we're gonna put these, I call them gray H pieces. But you'll see all those pins line up at the very end and are locked together using those blue L pieces. Now that the barrel is finished, we need to build our turret. We're using our large motor for this. On top of that large motor, we're attaching these blue beams as tracks. And onto both sides of our motor, we're going to put those black curved pieces with the little gray H's. And those are going to allow us to plug it into the barrel we've already created. We are going to be using the small side of the motor to be what actually controls this or triggers this turret. And we want to make sure that that yellow L shape can rotate all the way around on its own, but you'll see how we've attached those together. Now we're ready to build our ball launching mechanism and we're using our longest black beam wedged in between those two blue pieces. And on top of that, we're going to put a gray solid H with a little hitch a ball joint up at the top. And that's what we're gonna wrap our rubber band around later on to give this a little bit of propulsion. It's time for our sturdy base. And we based this on the delivery bot, but we just used two motors held in place with that purple rectangle. We used regular wheels. And then in the very front, we used the track ball to move it around. The big difference in this are these beams that go straight up attached to those purple squares. That lets us attach the barrel right up there to the very top. We put a distance sensor on here so that we could make it fire when it gets a certain distance away from the goal. We have our three pieces for this awesome robot. We have our turret that's powered by the rubber band, pulls back and it plunges forward to launch things. We have our sturdy driving base. This sturdy driving base is perfect for mounting everything on it. And then we have our ping pong ball sized barrel. This is just the right size for a ping pong ball to slide into, but not get stuck in. And it can roll all the way through as well as all the way out. And that's very important to make this a more accurate robot and one that's able to launch ping pong balls. We need to put everything together. And this right here, this is just a little basket that I made to hold the ping pong balls in. I ran out of black pins in my kit with this build, so it's not held together as well as it could be. But if you have multiple kits, you can absolutely use one to build a great basket to try to score in. We need to attach our barrel 
onto the end of our turret and we're gonna use these little gray pieces right up here to do that. And in the back side of our barrel, these black pins. In the back side of our barrel, these black long pieces are just gonna slide in and attach to those gray pieces. One side is really sturdy and the other side rotates around a little bit so you might have to hold it with an extra set of hands. Let's see if this should rotate down and those plug in. Now, to attach this onto our robot, we are going to just lay it on top and in these black square pieces, they are going to actually be what you press the gray piece to hold it together. And depending on what angle of your shot you want, you can always build a platform back here. We'll plug the motor for our turret into port D and we are ready to program this robot. This robot is really cool in that you can make it drive around, you can make the sensor be the reason why it launches, but I can't wait to see what kind of ideas you come up with for coding this robot. To code this robot, we've made sure to set motor D to 100% power, and we set the movement motors to F and B in that order. For this code, it's a real basic one. It just moves forward, it stops, it waits, it launches a ping pong ball, and then it backs up. If you wanted to make the distance sensor control this, you could always set an event for if distance sensor sees something 120 centimeters away, stop and launch the ball. Here's the view from the other side of this robot. You'll see the large motor, the wheel just spins and isn't attached to anything on the motor side. We wanna give a huge shout out to the viewers that sent in this challenge. If you have an idea for a robot, drop it in the comments. We might build yours next. Let me know, do you want us to show you the full build videos in regular speed? Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and keep on engineering.